The shipbuilding industry is currently suffering from huge levels of overcapacity. This overcapacity is putting considerable pressure on freight rates, for example in the container ship industry, making energy efficiency a hot topic. Siemens Marine and Shipbuilding specializes in the area of drive technology, producing highly efficient drive systems and solutions saving energy, such as waste heat recovery systems. This system uses the waste heat generated by the main diesel engine to produce electrical energy via an exhaust gas turbine and a downstream steam turbine. This electrical energy is then used to power an electrical booster located on the shaft line. The shaft generator motor can be used both in motor and generator mode. This means that the shaft line is used to generate power if required on board. Using this system allows the owners of container ships, for example, to save up to 12% fuel, in this case heavy oil, as well as a similar amount of emissions, such as NOx and CO2. This is becoming more and more important. An onshore power supply system is based on the principle of supplying berthed ships with energy from the shore. During lay days in port, the ship's diesel generators can be shut down, thereby stopping emissions of harmful substances. We've developed various cable management systems in a variety of designs for use in cruise liners, container ships and ferries. The first system of this kind is being implemented into the project in Hamburg. We're using our cable management system to bring the power cable connectors and communication links onto the ship like on a tray, making it easy for personnel to insert them into the sockets. My meetings with European ports over the past few years have resulted in the Hamburg Altona project being seen as a lighthouse project that could play a leading role in the introduction of onshore power supply systems across Europe. The shipping industry will definitely continue working towards becoming more energy efficient in both the use of container ships to transport general cargo and, as here, cruise ships to carry people. This will remain an ongoing trend.